we have seen examples like 98 times 97 where both numbers were below the base. The technique to multiply numbers like this was very simple. Find the base, find the deviations, find the sum of any of the diagonal numbers, find the product and bingo, we have our answer. And there's just one thing we need to keep in mind here. The number of digits on the right will be equal to the number of zeros in the base. But what if both the numbers were above the base? Let's say we have to multiply 12 with 13. As both the numbers are close to 10, let's consider 10 as the base. Once we find the base, we need to find the deviations of the numbers from the base. 12 minus 10 will give us the deviation of this number from the base. That will be 2. And 13 minus 10 will give us the deviation of this number from the base. 3. And then we make the partition. On the left, we write the sum of any two of the diagonal numbers. And on the right, we write the product of the deviations. So on the left, it will be 12 plus 3 or 13 plus 2. 15. And on the right, we will have 2 times 3 which equals 6. So we write a 6 on the right. Remember, the number of digits on the right will be equal to the number of zeros in the base. 1 0, hence 1 digit. 12 times 13 is 156. With the same technique, try multiplying 102 with 104. As both numbers are close to 100, let's take 100 as the base here. The deviation of 102 from 100 is 2 and that of 104 from 100 is 4. Sum on the left and the product on the right. 102 plus 4 is 106 and 2 times 4 is 8. But wait, as there are two zeros in the base, the number of digits on the right will be 2. So we write 0, 8 and not 8. 102 times 104 will equal 10,608. You have to realize how simple this technique is. Just four simple steps. Base, deviations, sum and product. That's it. Why don't you try another one? Take a simpler one this time. 15 times 19. As both the numbers are close to 10, let's make 10 as the base here. 15 minus 10 is 5 and 19 minus 10 is 9. Sum on the left and product on the right. 15 plus 9 is 24 and 9 times 5 is 45. But as the number of zeros in the base is 1, we can have just one digit on the right. The 4 of 45 has to be carried over. We write 45 like this and then we add 5, 8, 2. 15 times 19 is 285. The only tricky part in this technique is the number of digits you are allowed on the right. Once you master that, it gets very easy. Base, deviations, sum and product. We will try out a few more interesting examples of this type in the next session.